Dear children, exercise 3.1 already finished in the last video. Now let's study next portion that is finding the square of a number. Different methods we can find out the square of a number. Finding the square of a, a number. First method is using identities. First method using identities. Identities uh, we can find out the uh, square of a number that is using two identities that is a plus b the whole square and uh, a minus b the whole square. a plus b the whole square what is expansion a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus uh, 2ab plus uh, b square and uh, second one is a minus b the whole square a minus b the whole square is equal to what is expansion a square minus 2ab plus b square. Using these identities, we can find out the square of some numbers. Suppose it is to find out the square of a number by using identities. Example, 53. Find the square of the number 53. How can we find out the square of the number 53 by using identities? Question is, by using identities, find the square of 53. Okay, here you see, we want to find out the square of 53, that is uh, 53 square we want to find out. That we are going to split into two, uh, 50 plus 3, 50 plus uh, 3, the whole square. In place of 53, I wrote 50 plus 3, that much only, 50 plus 3, the whole square. That is equal to 50 plus 3, the whole square. Now it is of the form A plus B, the whole square. If it is a plus b the whole square, then the answer is a square plus 2ab plus b square. If it is 50 plus a plus b the whole square, then it is a square plus 2ab plus b square. If it is 50 plus 3 the whole square, then what is the answer? Just to see that in place of a it is 50, b is equal to 3. Then expand this way, then we will get the answer. That is a is equal to 50, so a square it will come 50 square plus 2 into a 50 into uh, b 3 plus b is equal to 3 so b square it will come uh, 3 square so using this identity we can find out that okay let's see so 50 plus 3 the whole square is equal to how can we write that 50 square plus 2 into 50 into 3 uh, 50 square plus uh, 2 into 50 into 3 plus uh, 3 square that is equal to 50 square 5 square what is that sir 5 5 sir uh, 25 25 then two zeros we have to put in the answer because it is uh, finding out this square then uh, two fives are 10 10 threes are uh, 30 and one zero is here plus three square three threes are uh, nine now add it we will get the answer that is uh, 2500 plus 300 uh, plus uh, nine 2500 plus 300 plus nine that is the uh, square of uh, 53 9, 0 plus 0, 0, 5 plus 3, that is 8, 2. So, what is the answer? 2,809, 2,809, that is the answer. Okay, now, how can we use this A minus B the whole square formula? If the question is 98 square, find the square of 98. 98, how can we write that? Yeah, we can write 90 plus 8, but easy to write it as 100 minus 2. 100 minus 2, what is the answer? 98. Now you see, now it is of the form a minus b the whole square. a minus b the whole square, answer is a square minus 2ab plus b square. If it is 100 minus 2 the whole square, 100 minus 2 the whole square, what will come answer? a is equal to 100, b is equal to uh, 2. So here we have to write a is equal to 100. 100 square minus 2 into 100 into uh, 2 plus b is equal to 2 square. So it will come b square 2 square. Then 100 minus 2 the whole square is equal to what is answer? 100 square, 100 square minus 2 into 100 into 2 minus 2 into 100 into 2 plus 2 square plus b square. So it will come plus uh, 2 square. Then that is equal to 100 square. What is the answer? 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros it will come. That much only. 1 square 1 and 2 zeros are here. In the answer it will come 4 zeros. Minus 2 2 are 4. 4 into 100 and that is 400. Plus 2 square 2 2 are 4. Now first we have to subtract this one. 10,000 minus 400. 10,000 minus 400. 
that is equal to 0, 0, 10 minus 4, uh, 6, remaining here 9, 9, then plus 4 is there. Subtracting this one, we got 9600, uh, plus 4 is there, we have to add it, plus 4, so 9600, uh, 4, that is the answer. So, 98 square is equal to what is answer? 9604. 9604. So, that is the first method of finding a square using identities. Okay, using identities, that is these two identities a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square and a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Using these two identities, we can find out the square of a number. Now, the second method is first method is that is uh, here we are finding the square of a number square of a number we can find out by using different methods first method is using identities second method is by observing patterns in numbers by observing patterns in numbers in that uh, observing patterns in numbers first one is a square of a number ending with 5 if a number ends with 5 then how can we find out the square of that number it is easy only example uh, 25 square if you want to find out the square of 25 5 last digit is 5 so 5 5 is a uh, 25 first we will write that is the last two digit of that number next we will see that the first digit 2 2 3 is a uh, 6 2 into next number I have multiplied 2 3 is a uh, 6 then 35 square how will get that this 25 we got 5 square, 5 square, 25, then 2 into 3 we have multiplied, 2 into 3, 6, here 5 square, 5, 5 is 25, here it is 3 into 4, 3, 4 is 12, 3 into 4, 3, 4 is 12, so what is answer, 12, 25, 12, 25. It is easy only. If the last digit is 5, then we can find out the square very easily. Only remember that last digit always it is 5 means 5, 5 is 25 you have to write last. Then first digit you have to see 2. If it is 2, 2, 3 is Next number you have to multiply 2 into 3. Here 3 into next number is 4. So 3, 4 is 12. Now 45 you see. 45 square is equal to 5, 5 is 25 last we will write. Next first digit is 4. So 4 into which number will multiply? Uh, 4 into 5, 4, 5 is uh, uh, 20, so 20, 25 you see, that's 20, 25. Now, 85 square, multiple, 85 square, find out the square of 85. Last digit is 5, 5, 5 is uh, uh, 25 we have to write. First digit is 8, 8 into, which number will multiply? Next number, 8 into 9, 8 nines are uh, 72, so 7,225, that is the answer. So, if the last digit is 5, then it's easy only to find out the square of a number. Then 5 into 5, 25 you write. Then first digit you have to see 3. 3 into next number 3, 4 is so 12. So, 1225 is the answer. 85 square, 5, 5 is so, uh, 25. 8, 9 is so, 8 into next number 8, 9 is so, uh, 72. That much only. Okay, now next one B. The square of a number, the square of numbers numbers ending with a ending with a 9 ending with a 9 if a number ends with a 9 then how can we find out the square of that number 39 square last digit 9 9 are 81 so last digit it will be 1 last digit it will be 1 next you subtract 1 from this number that is 38 minus, sorry, 39 minus 1 is equal to what is answer? Uh, 38. Next one, 1 you add to this uh, first number, first digit, that is uh, 3 plus 1 is equal to uh, 4. Now multiply these two numbers, multiply this one, 38 into 4. 4 is uh, 32, 2, uh, remainder 3, 3 4 is uh, 12 plus 3, uh, 50, 152. So the answer is, 1521 that you multiply I'll multiply what you are getting that you write in front of one then we will get the answer 1521 if you have doubt you find out by multiplying this one 39 into 39 39 into uh, 39 9 9 is a 81 1 a reminder 8 9 3 is a 27 9 3 is a uh, 27 27 plus 8 uh, 35 then 3 9 is a 
27, 7, uh, reminder 2, 3, 3, 7, 9 plus 2, 11, 1, 7 plus 5, 12, 2, reminder 1, 3 plus 1, 4 plus 1, uh, 5, 1, 1,521, 1,521, that is the answer. Okay, one more example, 89 square, 89 square is equal to, last word will write, 1. Next step, from here we have to subtract 1, 89 minus 1, 88. Now, 1 we have to add with this first digit, 8 plus 1, 8 plus 1, that is 9. Now multiply these two numbers, multiply it. 8 9 are 72, 2, remainder 7, 8 9 are 72 plus 9, 79. So what is answer? 7921, that is yes. Multiply it and see, 89 into 89, 89 into 89. 9 9 sir, 81 1, reminder 8, 8 9 sir, 72 plus 8, 80, 8 9 sir, 72 2, reminder 7, 8 8 sir, 64 plus 7, uh, 71, 1, 2, 8 plus 1, 9, 7921, that is answer. So, if the last digit is 9, then easily we can find out the square by using this method. That is, by observing the patterns in the numbers, only last digit is 5 and last digit is 9. Then easily we can find out that without multiplying. No need of multiplying this way. Without multiplying we will find out this way. Then question is there in the exercise. By, use, by observing the patterns uh, find the square. Then we will do this method only. If we are multiplying this way you will not get the mark. Remember that. Now next one. Next one is Pythagorean uh, triplet. Pythagorean triplet. Three numbers are said to be a Pythagorean triplet if the sum of the squares of two smaller numbers is equal to the uh, square of the uh, third number. Sum of the squares of two smaller numbers is equal to the square of the third number. Then the three numbers are called uh, what is the name? Pythagorean uh, triplets. Uh, see here. 3, 4, 5 are Pythagorean triplets because 3 square plus 4 square is equal to 3 square, 3, 3 are 9 plus 4 square, 4, 4 are 16 is equal to what is answer? Uh, 25, 9 plus 6, 5, remind 1, 25, 25 is equal to uh, 5 square, 5 square is 25, see? 3 square plus 4 square is equal to 5 square, therefore we can say 3, 4, 5 are called uh, Pythagorean uh, triplets, Pythagorean uh, triplets. Triplet means the three numbers. Pythagorean. Pythagoras is a Greek mathematician. He find out the sides of a right angular triangle. That is, he observed this pattern. Sides of a right angular triangle. Always it is a, it is in the form of a, it is in this form only. That is, sum of the squares of two sides is equal to the square of the third side. That is, the larger side. That is, the hypotenuse. So, these 3, 4, 5 and 3, 4 and 5 are the uh, sides of a right angular triangle. If you are drawing here uh, 4 centimeter and here we made 90 degree and this one is 3 centimeter, then if we join this one always it will be uh, 5 centimeter. So these 3, 4 and 5 are the uh, sides of a right angled triangle. It is the uh, sides of a right angled triangle. And uh, any right angular triangle you draw and uh, find out the the square of the base and the perpendicular and add it always you will get the square of hypotenuse so that three numbers are called a Pythagorean a triplet and uh, a, there is a theorem also that is Pythagoras theorem Pythagoras theorem says that uh, the square of the uh, squ sum of the squares of the perpendicular and the base is equal to a hypotenuse square sum of the a square of perpendicular and base is equal to hypotenuse square. That is only this, this one also that much only. These three numbers are called Pythagorean triplet. If the sum of the squares of two smaller numbers is equal to the square of the larger number, then that three numbers are called a Pythagorean triplet. Pythagorean triplet. Now you see, a 6, 7, 8 are not Pythagorean triplet. You see, a 6 square plus a 7 square, these are the two smaller numbers. 6 6 are uh, 36 uh, plus 7 7 are uh, 49 that is equal to 9 plus 6 uh, 15 5 or remainder 1 4 plus 1 5 plus 3 85 is equal to 8 square it is 64 only so 
not equal to 8 square therefore 6, 7, 8 are not Pythagorean uh, triplet so Pythagorean triplets are always in the form uh, 2n n square minus 1 and n square plus 1 these are the uh, three numbers 2n n square minus 1 and n square plus 1 2n n square minus 1 n square plus 1 example uh, substitute uh, 2 2 2's are uh, 4 then 2 square 2 square 4 minus 1 that is uh, 3 2 square 4 plus 1 that is uh, 5 so 3 4 5 are Pythagorean triplet so first first Pythagorean triplet is 3 4 uh, 5 so always remember that always uh, this uh, Pythagorean triplet in the form uh, 2n n square minus 1 and uh, n square plus 1 for by using this formula we can find out uh, Pythagorean uh, triplets okay now next one squares of rational numbers and uh, decimals that is uh, fourth one uh, squares of uh, squares of rational numbers and uh, decimals uh, rational numbers and uh, decimals squares of rational numbers and uh, decimals how can we find out the square of a rational number by using the formula a by b the whole square is equal to a square divided by b square that means uh, if we want to find out 3 by 2 square then we will find out using this uh, formula 3 square divided by 2 square 3 square 3 3 square 9 divided by 2 square 2 2 square uh, for that much so this way we can find out the square of a, a rational number how can we find out the square of a decimal number? Decimal number we have to convert into suppose uh, uh, 6.25. Uh, 6.25. 6.25 square we want to find out. Then we will convert it into a rational number, corresponding rational number. After that we will find out the uh, square using this formula. After that again we have to convert it into a rational number. Answer should be in decimal number. We have to, we will convert it into a rational number. After that answer should be in, in the form of a, a decimal number. So if, while finding out the square of a decimal number. 6.25 square. Two decimal points are there. So we can write as 625 divided by 625 divided by 100 square. That is equal to 625 square divided by 100 square. Find out the square. After that divide it and write as a decimal number. Answer should be in as a decimal number. That much only here. So, for doing this uh, next exercise 3.2, you have to remember uh, these things that is finding the square of a number methods, uh, different methods are there. First method is using identities, two identities we have studied a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square and a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square and uh, second method is by observing patterns in numbers, by observing patterns in numbers a square of numbers ending with 5 easily we can find out that without multiplying square of a number ending with 9 also without multiplying we can find out that that also we have studied then after that we have studied Pythagorean triplet then remember that Pythagorean triplet formula also you have to remember uh, 2n n square minus 1 and the third number is n square plus 1 this formula you have to remember then Find here the square of rational numbers and uh, decimals. Uh, rational numbers we will use this formula. A by B the whole square is equal to A square divided by B square. Then decimals convert it into a rational number. Then using this formula find out the square. After that divide it and write as a decimal number. That much only here. Okay, now we will study the, we will start the exercise in the next video. Thank you so much.